Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to add multiple clocks on Windows 11. So if you want to add additional clocks to view different time zones on your computer, you have two options. You can use the settings app or you can use the clock app. However, I do have to point out that the system doesn't actually include an option to show multiple clocks at the same time in the taskbar. So let me show you how to do this. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, first, open start and look for settings. Then let's go to time and language and then open date and time. Scroll down and click on additional clocks. This is going to bring the legacy control panel options to add additional clocks on Windows 11, since the operating system still doesn't have a modern version of this setting. So in here, we can add up to two different clocks. So first, we need to click the show clock one. And from here, you're going to select the time zone that you want to see. And for the purpose of this video, we're just going to select Hawaii. You can name this clock anything you want. I'm just going to type Hawaii and then just click apply. And that will add a second clock on the system. I had the time hidden, so I'm going to enable that. And this is a current time, but in order to see the new clock, we have to click on time and date. And we can see that we have the, the new clock displayed right here. Now, if we want to add a second clock we need to check this option and then just select the time zone let's just select greenland and then just name the clock click apply and click ok now when we click right here we can see that we have the additional clock now you don't actually have to click the time and date area you can actually just hover over and the tooltip is going to show you the different time zones that you added on the computer. Now, if for some reason you don't like this solution or you want to add more than two clocks, you want to add three, four or five. Another option is to use the clock app. But before I'm going to show you how to remove the clocks and basically we just need to go to the settings app again and then on the date and time legacy settings, just clear the options. Click apply, click OK, and now the clocks will no longer going to show right here on the taskbar. Now to use the clock app to add multiple clocks on Windows 11, just open start and look for the clock app. And then you need to go to the world clock page. And from here, we're going to click the add new city button. And then you just need to search for the location. Let's, let's say Barcelona. We're going to select it and just click the add button that will add that clock into the experience. You can also see that it compares it to the current time and we can see that we have plus six hours. If you want to add a third one, just click the add button again. Look for the location, click the add button. Now I'm just adding three, but you can add four, five, six, seven, as many as you need. Now, if you want to remove a clock, just click the edit clock button and click the delete button then click done button another thing you can do is just to click the compare button and that will take you to a new page where you can compare the time between the different time zones you can also use this option right here to compare the time on a different date now i don't know how useful this can be however you can right click a clock and then you can choose to pin it to the start menu and then the clock is going to appear right there, but it's not going to show the actual time. Like if you click on it, it will just open the clock app. Let me just close this and open it again and see where it opens. And as you can see, it opens it straight into the wall clock page. And that's it. Those are two different ways that you can use to add multiple clocks on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.